Welcome again, old YouTube. These guys feeding time for Crazy Rich and One Eye and Johnny Schnell. Yeah. Right, I'm getting low on food, but what I have got in in the uh, freezer was some old sardines, some that I brought. They've been in the freezer a little bit of time, not like silly long. But I originally brought them for the pike to try and get them on dead food. Which is going to be the issue again now because he's just had, a few days back, he just had the last live trout that I had. So I've got to try and get him on dead again. <laughs> Here we go again. Um, so that's one of the things. Stay tuned for later on for a bit of a pike update then. Maybe even a vampire fish update. But Reg looks keen today. I thought I'd woke him up from a nap again. Um, we'll see. He's getting old, see? He must be like nine or ten, I reckon. So he does need his naps in the daytime, don't you? Oh, crazy Reg. So let's drop this in. Well, I'm not going to drop it in because it's bleeding big and messy. So I'm going to dangle it in, hopefully, to minimise the amount of mess it makes. But I will be doing a water change and a siphon later anyway, but doing this also helps to feed the guppy, of course. Ooh, keen. Reg is keen. Big fish, Reg. What do you reckon, big fish? Yeah. Ooh. I won't put it all in. Let him get stuck in a bit. Then it'll be for the other guys. What do you reckon, Reg? Fish. Oh. Oh. Jesus. H. Yeah. That's Reg fed. <laughs> it never takes long, most of the time. Unless he gets in one of those moods where he wants to dance around. That's um, you reckon a pretty good fish. I think I'd, I'll pop it in again in a minute for him, because um, he might want a bit more in a minute. Because that's not like, oh, I'm trying to get it on camera. Keep spinning around the other way. Pop it in here now. Oh, flip it out. These are get stuck in lately as well. Someone's just had the hairy tail. I don't think that was John John Snow, wasn't it? I think. Yeah. Oh, just kicked it back out again. Didn't like that. They're not crazy about the old sardines, I must admit. Come on, guys. Not their favourite food. It's the only thing I had in the freezer. Here you go. One eye got stuck in. I might have to take it off the um string and let it go. Pop it down a bit more. Better, that's good. Yes. John Snow's had some. One eye's had some. One more. Right. Oh, good, yeah. John Snow, I just got back to say, John Snow needs to have a bit more, really. Oh, that's good, that's good. That's enough for those two. Oh, back to red, just to have a little bit more. A bit more for Reg. They were never gonna heat, eat this whole thing because it's so big. Like I say, originally I brought these for the pike. 
Got to try and give some for the pike sometime. Try and get him on dead. He'd swallow this down hole, no problem. He's a lot bigger than these guys. If I put him in this tank, you'd, you'd, you'd appreciate the difference in size. I tell you. I think he's had enough. Any more reg? I mean, they've only got small stomachs. Oh, yes, that's enough. Ah, good. And obviously, the guppy do a very good job in here, cleaning all the bits up, and it's good for them to have some fresh. Fresh food as well as is like flake and what have you. Good, good feeding, good feeding. Get stuck in, Guppy. Stay tuned for an update on the pike and maybe the vampire fish. Can't remember if I'm going to do one or not. Stay tuned. Great. Oh. I just took the lids off that. Lucius has moved down here. Seriously, seriously um, big now. He's well past, when you see him um, up against one of these areas in the tank, he's well past that point to that point. He's well past that now. Um, so that's pretty big. Get measurement out in a minute. Measure out in a minute, show you. So yeah, he's he's well past that. Oh god, from one of those grooves on the floor to one of those, uh, one of those ends. And he's well past that now. So what's that? That's um around 24 inches, 61, 62 centimeters. So he's he's down there. You can see that he's. Slightly bigger than one of those, one of those gaps. If only the light didn't shine on everything all the time. I find keeping fish outside very annoying, actually, <laughs> for all kinds of reasons, the weather and yeah, you can't really see <laughs> light on there. Yeah, there you go. So he's um a decent size, still small for a pike. But he's certainly getting there. Yeah. Right, he had that last trout last week. Oh, he's gone again. He's had, he had that last trout last week. So no more trout left. And we're entering the phase now where I try and get him onto dead stuff again. If that doesn't work, off to get some more trout. Now this barrel, I'm going to keep the perch in this barrel. What's good about this barrel, although it's not a brilliant footprint lengthways, if you know what I mean, but it's got a lot of depth. It's good for the winter when things start to freeze. This year, the perch will be able to go down really low. What I might do, because these are working quite well, I might buy another one of these and house, if I have to buy more live trout, house them in a separate barrel because they shoot about all over the place and like a right kerfuffle, poor old perch gets a bit affected by it all. Um, so yeah, I might do. I'm mean, open. I'm, I'm open to get Lucius on dead stuff, but I've always said that, and I. <laughs> we always try and go for this period of um, trying to get him onto dead when when we live stuff is gone. He's here now, moving about all over the place. He has had that trout a few days ago. Now his stomach's pretty big still. Let's have a look at him with the underwater camera. I thought I saw a little bit of fish lice on the perch. I've got to feed the perch as well. But we'll have another look at Lucius to see if there's any fish lice. If there is something in here, I don't think it's very much. And I don't think it multiplies very well in the winter. Yeah. So that's probably why a week later, last week, I noticed it wasn't that, that much of an uh, increased amount of fish lice, you know. 
maybe in the summer they go they did go crazy last summer wasn't it because I, I had quite a bad fish lice uh, problem in here but that that medication I used uh, worked really well so okay right so let's do some underwater footage of these guys let you have a look Right, I fed him the other day, so it's not really feeding time. But um, for those who don't know, this is my vampire fish. Now, when I first got him, he was a lot smaller than this, um, but you'd only eat live live fish. I've managed to get him onto dead food, but it's only you drop in a bit of dead food and it drop, falls down and he has it on the way down. Not my finger. Um, but as soon as it touches the ground, he's not interested in it. And it's been like that for a couple of months now. So when I drop it in, he, he has it as it's falling. But not when it touches the ground. And, it, and like I say, it's been like that for a couple of months. And then the other day, this happened, didn't it, Nossie? Because he's actually called Nosferatu. The other day, this happened. Bit of a breakthrough. I'll be damned. He's just picked that bit off the floor. Sorry about the poor lighting, but I don't want to put a light on. But he's just picked that bit off the floor. I just noticed it. I, was, I, was, I, I just fed him, and that bit was just left on the ground. And I just walked past to see if, he, if by any chance, that he might have had it. And he has. He's taken a bit off the floor. Yeah, I don't want to put the light on. He's still got it in his mouth. Nice one, Nossie. Thanks for watching, everyone. Check out some films now that's coming up on the screen. Feel free to touch one of them, click on one of them, and I'll see you again some other time. Oh, yes.